God says, But as it is written, What no eye has seen, nor ear heard, nor the human mind has conceived, the things God has prepared for those who love him. 1 Corinthians This means the extraordinary and unimaginable blessings and plans that God has in store for those who love him surpass human comprehension. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans. This means nothing can separate believers from God's love, no matter the circumstances or challenges they may face. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Exodus. This means in times of difficulty, instead of trying to handle everything on our own, we should trust that the Lord will fight for us, while we remain still and have faith in his power. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs. This means having a joyful and positive attitude can bring healing and refreshment, while a discouraged spirit can have detrimental effects. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Hebrews. This means encouraged by the example of faithful believers who have gone before us. We should rid ourselves of anything that hinders our spiritual growth and run with endurance the race set before us. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Romans. This means instead of retaliating or being defeated by evil, respond with good and conquer it with acts of righteousness and love. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Matthew. This means human limitations and impossibilities are surpassed by the limitless power and possibilities that exist with God. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him, James. This means those who remain steadfast in their faith amidst trials and challenges will be rewarded with the crown of life as promised by the Lord. The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust in him. Nahum 1-7 This means God is good and provides a safe haven for those who seek refuge in him, especially in times of trouble. He takes care of those who place their trust in him. Be wise in the way you act toward outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Colossians. This means Christians should exhibit wisdom in their conduct towards those outside the faith, making the most of every opportunity to share the gospel and represent Christ well. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you. God says, The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs. This means our words have significant impact, capable of either bringing life or causing harm. Those who are mindful of their speech will reap the consequences of their words. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also, Matthew. This means the things we value and invest in reveal the true condition of our hearts and where our priorities lie. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord, Praise the Lord. Psalms. This means every living being should offer praise and worship to the Lord, acknowledging his greatness and goodness. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Psalms. This means God is a steadfast and unshakable refuge for his people, providing protection, deliverance, and salvation in times of trouble. 
Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things, Philippians. This means focus your thoughts on things that are honourable, just, pure, lovely, commendable, excellent, and praiseworthy, rather than dwelling on negativity or harmful influences. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light, 1 Peter. This means believers are chosen by God, set apart as a holy people, and his treasured possession, with the purpose of proclaiming his praises and sharing the transformative power of moving from darkness to light. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you? To act justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God, Micah. This means the Lord desires his people to live with integrity, practicing justice, demonstrating mercy, and humbly walking in fellowship with him. But seek his kingdom, and these things will be given to you as well, Luke. This means prioritize seeking God's kingdom and his righteousness, and he will provide for your needs and desires. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old is gone, the new is here. 2 Corinthians This means through faith in Christ, believers experience a spiritual transformation, leaving behind their old way of life and embracing a new identity and purpose. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians. This means persevere in doing good deeds and acts of kindness, knowing that in due time a bountiful reward and harvest will be received, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Galatians. Support our community and donate us through super thanks. Type yes if you believe in God. God bless you.